So tell us how you met Alan in the first place. I met him with Ronnie Duncan, my friend Ronnie, um, who uh, is a collector, and he was interested uh, in the Gregory Fellowship in Leeds. And I was at that time, uh, Ronnie's girlfriend then became his fiance, and it's through, through him I met Alan. Right. In Cottage Road, that was my first meeting with Alan, was in Cottage Road, Headingley, where he was living with Billy and his wife and daughter, Katie. Right. Uh, and, and did you go actually to see him in the studio? Yes. And it was downstairs. You'd go through the room, it was a big room downstairs. And, uh, and what was your impression? Of well, I was just gobsmacked, actually. <laughs> no, I was just amazed at this man. Um, he, um, um, there's paper all over the floor and painting, oh, paint, with paints on the floor and on the wall. And uh, Alan with his long beard and, and moving around like, like, a, like an orchestra, moving his arms and with brushes and things and painting. I, I was just ama amazed with it really. I, I didn't know quite what to think. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it was all new to me, obviously, you can imagine. I don't come from a, an art background at all and uh, quite a revelation. Very little was said, but all this activity with this man, this tall, thin man with a long beard. And what was your, um, give us your impression of Gammels. What was it like as a place? Gammels or, or the bottoms? Um, well, let's start with Gammels. Gammels. My first, going to Gammels, I, I was just completely um, transfixed, really. The whole, it was, it was, um, uh, what's the word I want? <laughs> it was mind-boggling, really. Yes. Um, um, didn't know quite where to look or not to look. There was so much to see and feast your eyes on. And, and as I say, um, I'd like to have lingered over various objects or paintings, but it wasn't quite like that. We were just being entertained, you know, by Alan and Billy and going to have a meal. But um, no, I, I, I found it riveting really, an incredible experience of colour, um, <laughs> um, the African works of art, um, the rugs, well, everywhere it was, it was just, just they, and the studio, the studio was... Uh, um, Would he ever be painting when you visited? No, I can't, I can't honestly say, he, he might have been coming out of the studio. Yes. But then, no, he, he wasn't, he didn't. Because yes. if, if, if um, they knew we were coming, you'd have to be on time. It's that sort of thing. He was meticulous for order, was Alan. And, um, um, you know, have a, a, the, the table would be ready for us to eat, you know, that, that, that was the important thing, yes. really. Yes. And I suppose, in a way, the, the, the surroundings were so normal to them. It was secondary, but to me, it was just... Uh, a feast, really. Very stimulating. Absolutely stimulating. It, it was overwhelmingly beautiful. Mm. And were you aware of his success as an artist? No, at that, no, in that, at that I had time? a clue. It was just Alan and Billy. <laughs> it meant, actually, it sounds awful. It meant, didn't mean anything to me, that sort of thing. Yes. That kind of thing yes. at all. And what about after the 60s? Um, in, say, you know, the, the period of the 70s, 80s, did you have contact with? Um, not really, not, not really. I, I, I heard about him through Ronnie. Ronnie and I split up. We were engaged and we split up. Yes. And then, of course, he, he remarried. So there was a gap. But then after that, his relationship with his wife finished. Then we got together again more, more often as friends. And then we did the odd visit together to, 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 uh, to Cornwall and also to Hertfordshire. Yes. But he was then free yes. to do that with me. But we weren't lovers or things like that, but right. we just re rekindled our friendship. Um, tell us a bit about the bottoms, because obviously... I the bottom was lovely, it was very dark and lovely. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a low building cottage, um, uh, but flowers everywhere. Billy was great at creating um, Wonderful displays in the, garden or in the, the house, in the house, in the house. And, uh, and I, re I remember they were the lampshades, all painted, all painted, pretty, pretty shapes and things. Everything was, you know, there's nothing not painted. 
Did he have a studio in the he, he did, no, he did. Outside, in, in the garden area, steps going up. It's like a stable, the top. Right. And uh, like that picture on, yes. on there. And that was uh, amazing, you know, it was just absolutely staggering. Everywhere, a lot going on. Colour, 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 on the walls, everywhere. Um, and was he working on full-size canvases? Yes, yes. In the bottom yes, as well? Yes, 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 yes. In terms of... Um, the relationship between Billy and Alan and how Billy perhaps supported Alan in his work and mm. and so on. How do you sort of summarise that? She was there, always there yes. for him, in the background, supporting him. So tell us a bit, that, that latter period about his working habits, mm. you know, um, not the very end, I'm talking about just a bit before that. So... Was he working in the studio most days? If if you went to stay there, what what would he be doing in terms of? Sometimes art? he'd be in the studio, he'd be painting or, or touching up some paintings. Yes. Uh, big, big when you paintings. say touching up, let me ask you a bit about that. Well, just maybe just looking close to it, then just doing, you know, he obviously must have thought bit standing back. He must have thought something needed a little bit adjusting. of tweaking. Like that's my interpretation of yes. what I thought he might yes. be doing, you know, and. Um, um, and then he spent a lot of he, he spent a lot of time re reviewing his own work on the walls, you know, reflecting on it. And he used to say, "Oh, wouldn't it be lovely to see it somewhere else? You know, stand back and see it in a big place, you know, to reflect on." on so, would he take it. the latest work that he was working on to do that, or was he looking more historically? At a no, no, it's just work was in his studio at that yes. time on the walls yes. because, as you know, he's quite prolific. He never stopped. And, it was and all stacked up, wasn't it? Absolutely, exactly. all over. And and also he had a um, a storage place in the garage, uh, and you'd go in there, and that's a digression from what you just asked me that question. You'd go in there, so he, he wanted to show some of his other works, and um, and you'd go in there and he'd pull painting after painting after painting, and just you know just and say so, you'd be amazed at go amazed at what what he'd done. You couldn't believe what he'd done, you know, then, whenever it was then. So he was, was he starting then, as you're indicating, to reflect a little bit on his on the work over his life? Frank? But but I think that was the nature of Alan I think he it, it was, it was. But I mean it, uh, it, it, he he was I think a bit upset that, that that nobody had come along and said, "Look, let me give you a big retrospective." I think that deep down mm -hmm. upset Alan, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. I think deep down, but he was so modest in a way. I think he was modest. He wasn't pushy. You mentioned that he he expressed some disappointment deep with down. his sort of lack of recognition at that that particular time. I think so. Deep down, uh, say he he wanted he wanted deep down Scotland to, really probably to 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 um, there should be a Davy, what did he call it? A, 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 what was the word he used? There should be a, a, a big Davy, something or other in Scotland yes. for, for Davy. Yes. He felt that deep down. Did he ever say what he felt his legacy was? Because obviously he'd been painting. A lot of people knew his work over such a long time. Did he ever say what he thought he'd, his legacy was to, you know, the world of art or British art, European Never art? Never in so many words, but he said it will live on when I'm gone. That's all he'd ever, ever said as far as that. Did he ever sort of... I mean, who would you say his closest friends were that were perhaps from the art world rather than not from the art world, as it were? His closest contacts or closest friends from... Gosh. Other artists or people from the art world. He liked Andrew Stewart. He got to know him and like him. Uh, I said this man in, in Cornwall, um, and I can't remember his name. Should so come back to me. But he, he I honestly, let me just think. I really, no, I, I don't think he had any he had chums as such. Is that what you mean? People that he. Yes, or close friends that he would meet up with. He, he liked he liked Mervyn Charlton. Right. Uh, I think you've met Mervyn, yes. uh, but yes. luckily I think he talked to him. And then um, um, he liked his ego puffing up the dog. He liked people saying nice, nice things, naturally, uh, and yes. about his work, appreciative yes. things about his work. But he, what, what he, I'm 
changing your question again, what he did get upset about, if only people would say they didn't like my work, <laughs> and then it'd be positive. And he couldn't get over people would saying nothing when it came. He he he. he we should understand that he 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 got fed up with people. You know, just. So did he want people to react to the work? Yes, one way or the other. He yes. wanted some reaction, one way or the other. And people are so pussyfooting. You know, didn't yes. say, oh, I don't like that. Yes. You know, they're so polite. Because they must have thought he was in... I don't know what they thought. I can't speak for other people. But they must have thought that mm. this is a great man, you know. Because apparently um, this other chap, well, this cult man wanted to meet Iron, but he was in awe of him. Uh, you know, oh, oh, I can't understand it, can you? Strange. Yeah, <laughs> now, you? let's just talk a little bit about the actual works you've got. When... What do you like about the work you've got of his? Well, it's very interesting. So I, th I think... Because you've got a collection, haven't you? It's You haven't only got Alan Davies. You've got lots mm -hmm. of other works. You, interesting mm -hmm. enough, it's just... Oh, because I'm uh, as close to him, really. And how, oh, how lovely that he should give me something. But I'm beginning to realise, I really, really respect... I mean, I was, I'm so sloppy about things, really. But you asked me about... Was he important and all that? And it didn't. That didn't. wasn't in, wasn't in my thinking at the time. Was in. But I realise now what what a, what a gift and what a talent he had. How how wonderful. And those little drawings upstairs that you looked at. I think that they are exquisite. With one eye, There's, you know. I think the the genius of them. Mm. The, and, and you know, I, I, what do I like about them? I mean, some. The the more I'm seeing more in them than than than. Than maybe I have done for quite a long time, you know. I'm seeing different things now. When I was settling down and letting myself feel them and let them be, let them speak to me, you know, I've been so busy being busy that mm. I haven't allowed Alan to come to me, mm. you know, for all sorts of other reasons, things going on that have been uh, taking me away from him. Does that make sense? It does. But I think what I'm hearing is that they're both personal. But you can also now see them as paintings in their own right. You're absolutely you know, right. On you're two levels. You're spot right. on with that. Do you know you hit the nail on the head? You know, getting yes. that out of the way. And, and, uh, yes, and, and, and I think I regret, I wish that I'd been able to use that other head when I was with him. And that's why I, I've missed the opportunity of an awful lot of Alan could have given me, I mean, uh, 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 you know, in conversation, what have you, by being so close to him in a funny way. Well, Do you understand what I mean? I'm sure he completely appreciated 